Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about this warehouse location that we just finished up. There's no more watts here, so I have to move to a different location. So we're going over that, so if you think that th that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Check out our website at CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU or ASIC mining farm, looking to invest, or just uh, have some general questions, want to buy some GPUs or also have that, check out the description for the GPU link. And uh, check out other social media accounts like Rumble, Bitshoot, Gap, Parlor, Mines, and so on. All right, so this warehouse here is totally full. I'll show you guys the panels. So it has two panels. If you watched previous videos, you know about this location here. But it's got two panels, three phase. So we're using this one all the way. There's no more watts left. This one as well, it's been used to the max. No more left. We actually had to reorganize some of our breakers. You can see we had to move some around. Move, move some to B or to A or to C phase. Move them around to make sure that the three phases are loaded about equally. We had to do the same thing over here. Just see we had to move things around to make sure it's nice and equal. But in the end, these two panels are being used to the max. There's no more left. So what did we accomplish at this warehouse? We have a total of um, 37 rigs right now up and running. I think it's 37. 40 is how much fits here and we took away one, two. Actually, there's uh, 38 rigs here. So most of these cards are 3080s, some 30, 3080Ti's and some 3090s. This is uh, not a rig, this is running something else. But you can see here, we got a lot of Zotax. 3080s, not uh, LHR cards. Then we have a mixture of gigabytes, also 3080 LHR cards. And then we have some 3090s over here. These are our, the gigabyte 3090 turbos. We're running 10 cards a rig. So we got a bunch of those as well. So it's fully maxed out. In terms of airflow, so if you're thinking of setting something up similar to this setup here and you're wondering how much airflow you need, so what you need is something like this. So you got two big fans in there, one at the top. We're going to add another one there on the left hand side, maybe even two more. Make sure we have nice good exhaust. We're directing a lot of the cold air to come out, go directly towards the rigs. The reason why I want to do that is because we don't want the cold air to come out, you know, and uh, get stuck somewhere down here and get sucked back out. So we got to make sure that we actually blow it towards the rigs. Then we create a circulation at the top, he rises, and then slowly gets sucked out. We're going to add some more fans to suck it out, suck out the hot air. Then we have some directional fans here at the bottom. So these directional fans then blow this hot air because otherwise the hot air kind of gets stuck here and it and you know these rigs uh they kind of heat up so we have to make sure we get rid of that hot air so we added some directional fans that'll blow the hot air up then it'll go out it gets sucked back out so this is what we had to do in the current situation because every warehouse is different and uh sometimes you might have an exhaust like right there or down there something like that obviously that's better but if you're in a situation like this where you just can't do that, uh, then this works. Uh, it's been working just fine. Uh, we haven't tested it in the summer yet, but in terms of 60, 70 degrees, it handles it. So it's not a problem. You just gotta have some directional flow. And if uh, we ever have any you know, issues where maybe it's not great temperatures in here, maybe get a little hot, we could extend the tarp a little further, get it closer to the rigs as well as add more fans inside of the tarp to help direct that cold, nice cold air towards the rigs, maybe extend it like 10 more feet. Whatever it is, we'll just work, work on it as it goes because it's hard to tell. And like I said, every warehouse is different. But in terms of actual power and everything <clears throat> and the actual setup, you can fit all of these GPUs into something as small as this. You see how big it is? It's actually not big at all. Our Ethernet's running at the top there. You see running to our two switches, two 24-port switches, as well as our 
POE for cameras. We have our camera system set up as well. Everywhere. See that camera right there? So that camera is motion detection and it zooms in and zooms out and moves around on its own. <clears throat> so yeah, and um, we have our little workbench here. So for each one of our locations, we have a workbench we leave. It's got our spare parts and things like that. Some spare risers, a spare P a CPU, some RAM, flashlight, you know, things like that. Keep the spares in here. Zip ties. We got our monitor here, just in case one of the rigs goes down and we can't access it remotely. We need to show up and take a look at the BIOS, maybe something wrong with it. We have this monitor, keyboard, all that stuff, spare parts, a lot of the things we took out of here. But we do keep a lot of our GPU um, <clears throat> boxes, so you can see this gigantic stack of GPU boxes. So yeah, so everything's going good. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. We have other videos coming up talking about our other locations. We're slowly filling those up. So when they're full, I give you guys a tour of them. You take a look. Uh, you know, like I said, all warehouses are different. So they will have a different setup, different airflow, different everything. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you want. If you're looking to buy some GPUs, we sell uh, GPUs to basically anyone that's interested. We've got 3080s, 3090s, uh, 3060s, 3070s, TIs. A minimum order is 10 GPUs, so if you're looking to purchase, we have a spreadsheet there. You can take a look at that and see if there's something you like. Also, we sell uh, uh, EVGA, 1600 power supplies, and other power supplies as well. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, go to CryptoLLC.org. Or if you're interested in ASIC or GPU mining, looking for someone to set up something for you, check that out as well. Until next time, bye.